So hello and welcome to Moorgate Andrology. I'm here today with Stuart and Karis. And Stuart is about one hour after a penis enlargement treatment. He's had hyaluronic acid injections to thicken his penis. Um, Stuart, how do you feel? I feel, I feel good. Yeah? Yeah, and I believe, Karis, you were actually watching the treatment itself. I was. And what did you think? A bit scary because it was 15... Um, 15 mils, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it looks a little bit strange at the minute. But yeah. Obviously, if it goes down the shaft, it'll look, uh -huh. it'll look nice. <laughs> Were you worried about um, him having the treatment before? I was. I did try and talk him up to it. You did? Yeah. But, um, obviously, he made the decision before I got with him, so. Uh -huh. But I was a bit dubious, but it looks. Okay. Yeah, so, you'd already made the decision to have this treatment before you met Karis Stewart? Yeah. Yeah? And why did you have, why did you want to have a penis enlargement treatment? What brought you here? Um, I just think confidence really. It boosts my confidence and makes mm -hmm. me feel a bit better myself. Yeah. Um, and when you met Karis, was that decision sort of more firmly established or were you a little bit worried then about yeah, whether to do it? Yeah, was and like obviously being filmed and everything, so yeah. that was... Um, the thing I was more nervous about, really. But uh -huh. now it's done, I'm happy with it. Uh -huh. I mean, we get lots of guys who come in who are obviously concerned about um, their penis size, when actually their penis is not uh, statistically small. I mean, you, you have or, or had a normal sized penis to begin with. Why do you think you, you, you wanted it even bigger? What, what brought you here for that? Uh, as I said before, just confidence, I think. And just confidence, yeah. Um, just feel better myself uh -huh. and my appearance, so. And how do you think that's going to improve your relationship with Karis? Yeah, we still got that to find out yet. Yeah? So. <laughs> yeah. And are you, are you happy now he's had it done, Karis? Yeah. Do you think yeah, there's going to be actually. any difference? Mm. You do? Yes, I do. Because of his confidence in his... Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's uh -huh. a bit, um, like, confident anyway, yeah, you know. yeah, you're confident anyway, but his, his self-esteem was a bit low. Uh -huh. But I think it'll increase that. Okay. And did you feel when you were together, did you feel that Stuart had a problem with his confidence? No. You didn't? So that, that wasn't apparent to you? He was fine. Uh -huh. He's a bit shy. <laughs> he's, a bit, he's, a, he's a very shy person, so I think having this done now will break him a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Do you think you're a shy person? Um, Stuart? I mean, you seem self, a very out there guy. Self-conscious, I think I was. More self-conscious, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And what advice would you to give to guys who are thinking about hyaluronic acid injections to thicken the penis? I don't think penis? there's a problem at all. Like, I think a lot of men suffer with the, the fact of speaking about their penis, but like a lot of women want to have breast enlargements and surgery done, so I, I don't see the problem in men having it done either. So, mm -hmm. so you, you see a direct correlation between women having cosmetic surgery and, and men. Yeah. And do you think more men will have these procedures as time goes by? Do you see it yeah, as something yeah. that will evolve? Yeah, I think it's as well as confidence for them. Um, no, I'm not done, so. Mm -hmm. so let's talk a little bit about the procedure itself. I mean, obviously having a, an injection into your, your penis is a daunting prospect at any, any time. Um, tell us a little bit about the procedure and how, how it was for you. Well, at the start, um, when they first put the needle in uh -huh. to open up the holes, uh -huh. uh, that was a bit uncomfortable. Uh -huh. And to start when they put the anaesthetic and the finger yeah. into me. But after that, once the anaesthetic started working, it, yeah. it was fine. It felt okay. So one of the things we do before we start these treatments is we give patients um, some cream, an anaesthetic cream that they, they rub into the penis and we leave this for 20 minutes. And the actual hyaluronic acid treatment that you had does contain within there local anaesthetic. So probably as time went on during the treatment it was becoming more and more numb. Did you feel that? Yeah, yeah that's typical because the local anaesthetic as it's infiltrated is numbing the penis even, even more. Um, so tell me about the uh, the size then. Yeah. I mean, we started off. You're pleased with the size, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So I think we were 12 centimeters before we started the treatment, and I think we're at 15. 15. 
50. So you got a three centimeter increase in the girth. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we, one of the questions that comes up all the time with guys is, will it make a difference in the erect state? In your case, Stuart, were you more concerned, would you say, with the penis in the flaccid state or the erect state? How did you... Um, I, how? Think, I think the erect state, um, um, that's still be something to look at now. I'm yeah, not. yeah. And from your Maybe perspective, Karis, how do you know, you've seen, obviously, Stuart's penis flaccid and erect. Yeah. I mean, where do you see the biggest improvement, do you feel? When it's, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> soft. <laughs> when it's soft? Okay, it's yeah. Hard. No, um, I can't wait to see the end result, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Lots of guys are concerned about their penis when it is flaccid, um, since when the penis is erect, it's naturally bigger anyway. Um, but it's interesting that, you know, you feel you're going to... Most guys that have penis enlargement surgery itself opt for the girth as well. The girth is the most important part, so we're told by the, by the experts. So would you agree with that? I would, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So now you've had it done, Stuart, um, do you think this is something you're going to keep to yourself? I mean, a lot of guys don't want to tell anybody that they've had this done. How is it going to be for you, do you think? No, I don't think. Like, I'm willing, like, if this man out there wants to have a chat or if um, I'd like to show them there's, no, there's nothing in it, really. Uh -huh. Would you tell your friends? Yeah, I've told them all already. They You've told them already? My parents have told a lot, lot of people. Really? So that's, that's great because that's highly unusual. Most guys will not tell anybody that they're having these kind of treatments. So uh, it's great that you're willing to open up about that. And from a, from a girl's perspective, Karis, I mean, is this something that girls talk about? Do you we think? We talk about size, yeah, quite often. Really? Friends, yeah. But I was, I'd be a bit embarrassed, obviously. Yeah. For him to, you've already started speaking about it months ago yeah and he will obviously put that everywhere now mm -hmm. so you, you prefer him to keep it to himself would I you would, yeah, yeah. so why do you think you'd like to him to keep it to himself yet yeah, girls in circles talk about <laughs> their partner's size is this what you're telling me yeah that, um there shouldn't be an issue like with men i don't think as much as with a woman so what's the difference in a man and a woman this it's it's not i don't think it's that common yet for men to get this done. About it quite openly. Yeah. Obviously. So why do you think it is that women are prepared to talk about their partner's size between each other? What is it that makes girls want to sort of compare sizes, do you think? I mean, I think nobody wants a small one, do they? Um, no girl wants a small yeah. one. So, um, I see. I see. Okay. So that's an interesting th thing, isn't it, Stuart, that girls admit they don't want a, a small one? Because one of the questions we often ask in our surveys is, would you marry a man who has a small penis? Um, I mean, would you? No. <laughs> you wouldn't? I finished a guy because he had a small Really? Yeah. You, so you broke up the relationship with the guy because his penis was small? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, do, he wasn't doing anything for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> it wasn't pleasuring me, but... Um, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So, Karis, do you think that women when when you're to, well when you're talking to your friends about their partner's penis size and they're willing to open up about that do you think they tell the truth in terms of their partner's size or do you think they embellish the in terms of their partners yeah they might lie you think um, they do yeah but in terms of just like when they stands or etc they'll openly tell the truth about right and giggle maybe or i don't know uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> Do you think that, I mean, obviously you finished a relationship because of that. Mm. Did you tell your partner, did you tell him or did yeah. you just finish the relationship? I just made up yeah. a story. Uh -huh. I wasn't happy and told him that I didn't want to be with him. Yeah. Because at Morgate Andrology, we do see a lot of uh, guys who come in and they have been told by a previous partner that their penis is small and this can have a a pretty devastating yeah. effect mm. in fairness and uh, it does bring uh, guys to clinics like ours mm. in an attempt to increase their penis size um, but I mean you've had no problems there previous to your treatment Stuart no yeah because obviously your penis is well within normal range to start with yeah where do you see yourself going 
from now. I mean, we've got 15 million your penis. You've got a three increases in uh, three centimeter increase in the girth. This treatment typically will last 12 months. Do you think that's it for the year now? Um, no, I, I think if when it runs out, I might look into having the fat transfer uh -huh. and the lengthening. Okay. Is, I, mean, I mean, what is it about your the length of your penis that you're concerned about? Hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I think a few more inches. I think every really? man like, no, I think having a bit bigger. It's already but touching my stomach. You don't need any thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> think the length is is is, is yes, long enough? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. The length is fine. Mhm. Mm I mean, <laughs> I mean, the experts tell us actually that the penis can, in terms of length, be too long. And I mm. understand, Carrie, it can be painful yeah, for a girl if the penis is too long. It can. Yeah. You that's, do it me sometimes. So that's something we need to we need to think about, yeah. 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 Okay. So Stuart, obviously you you have a had a normal sized penis before the treatment. Did did you ever sort of have a problem with with partners beforehand? Have they commented that your penis they felt was small, or did you feel that you uh, didn't measure up, or? I have felt like obviously I've five had sex with a couple of girls and. They might have been a bit big or uh -huh. themselves. But okay, so it's more about the partner than, than yourself. You've had no hang-ups no. about your size. No. It's just that you wanted more as a sort of a lifestyle choice, if you will. Yeah. I think a lot of men would love to have a, a bit more girth and a bit more length. Uh -huh. like a lot of um, men would like it. Okay. So, Karis, if uh, we're told that girth is important for women, why do you think girth is the most important aspect? Why do guys need to focus on the girth of their penis rather than the length? I think all women are different size, you know, down below. Uh -huh. um, obviously, you need to actually feel like uh -huh. inside you, and obviously, um, yeah, it's really yeah. important to have. So the girth is, yeah. it's true what they say Definitely. in your opinion, yeah, that the my, girth in my opinion, yeah. is the girth is the most important, yeah? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So Stuart, you've obviously you know, you've, you've had your penis enlargement done. I mean, are you one of those guys that perhaps feels that you have to comply with society's image of what a guy should look like? You know, maybe he drives a, he drives a big car, he has a big house, he must have a big penis, you know, do you, do you think there's an element of conformity in yourself or? No, I don't think at all. I think, hmm, I don't think myself. Like, I, I suffer from any... Uh -huh. So you never felt under pressure from, from friends or, or things you might read or see on the TV, for example, um, of a way to look? Well, I, I, I watch, like, naked attraction on TV, and some are small and some are bigger than others. Yeah. But some are bigger than mine, some are smaller than mine, but I don't feel, like, intimidated or uh -huh. don't feel any pressure of, of sort. Mm-hmm. And do you feel that way? Do you feel there's a there's a a, a a way that people should look in society now? And I think, like a lot of women, wear a lot of makeup these days, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I've always said to you, and I, I've got to wear makeup because you, so I feel a bit. So you do feel as though yeah, you have to conform a certain yeah, way. Definitely. So do you understand how Stuart feels? Obviously, he's not one mm. to conform. He's he's not a conformist as such, but. He feels that this treatment is something he's had to do for his confidence. Do you think there's a difference? Um, no, I don't think there's a difference as such. But um, I, 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 I think it was perfect as the way it was. So I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the main reason why. Uh huh. I yeah, don't. No. Have you uh, had any cosmetic surgery yourself, Katia? No. no. Would you? Yes. I would. You would have it. I. I'm interested in about the um, glucose maximus. Yeah. <laughs> the buttock bit. enlargement, yeah. 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 And why would you have that done, do you think? There's a lot of girls these days that are following, like Kim Kardashian, etc. Uh -huh. I wouldn't obviously go that big, but a lot of my mates have, have spoken about having in, like, implants in them. Yeah. Do you, so do you feel that, in fact, is conformity with what society is mm. putting out there in terms of yeah, Kim Kardashian yeah. and so on? Yeah, but you definitely. don't think there's anything wrong in that per se? No, because um, like 
I had to listen to the men, and they all, oh, look at the art, look at the banner. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So where from now then, Stuart? Do you think if enough pressure came from Catty, you'd perhaps be happy with what you've got now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But obviously, it'll wear off in so much time, but then there's a more permanent option in having the fat transfer. I see. So in terms of the injections, did you see that as a bit of a stopgap until... Yeah. Yeah. That's quite common. A lot of guys start with penis enlargement injections as a temporary way to thicken the penis. And then perhaps a year's time when uh, they've got used to the idea or even they have more money because the surgery does cost more, as you know, they move on to a more permanent procedure such as fat transfer. So Carys, well, can we talk for a moment about breast enlargement? Because that is the number one procedure in cosmetic surgery still, has been for many years and still is. Obviously, you've not had a breast enlargement yourself, but mm -hmm. you, you obviously know a lot of friends who, who have. Yeah. Um, it turned out to be yesterday, didn't she? So. Yeah. yeah. And she had it on yesterday. Um, she had it on yesterday, and um, she was really happy with it. But she didn't have... It wasn't small before. Uh -huh. So I, I think it's a craze now, to be honest, with boobs. A lot of... Uh -huh. My friends, boyfriends have paid for their girlfriends to have their boobs done. They paid for their girlfriends mm. to have, why do you think so they I'm do that? I'm not sure if it's the men who talk them into having bigger boobs or themselves, I'm not sure. Really? I haven't really asked that so, question. But. So you think that could be, this, this breast enlargement could be driven by men, mm. do you think? I think so. So, you know, it, because they see, or they want their women to mm. be looking yeah. a certain yeah. way. Why do you think women are willing to conform to do that if they don't really want the procedure? It's free. <laughs> because their uh, the partners Maybe. are paying. Yeah, probably. Yeah? Um, I don't think they'd pay four and a half grand for themselves. Right. But, um, and do you see an analogy perhaps with penis enlargement? Do you think that deep down men are having penis enlargement to please their girlfriends? Yeah, I think a, couple, a few men would probably have it done without telling nobody to Uh-huh. I mean, you mentioned your previous partner who had a small penis and therefore you, you finished that relationship. I did. did you never think to broach the subject of penis enlargement with him? I didn't know it existed. You didn't know it existed? No. Do you think that if you knew what Stuart's had done now, would you have had the confidence to approach him about it or do you think that would have... I would, yeah. You would have done? I would have. You've seen Stuart's penis now and you saw it before. Has that changed your perception of what... Uh, an inverted commas, a normal penis size should be? Um, no. Not really? really no. And, and had you any sort of conception of what, in terms of numbers, in inches, for example, what, what was your conception of a normal size penis, in Six, your opinion? Six or seven inches. Six or seven inches, I erect. Normal. Erect. So... Would it be fair to say if someone had an erect penis of five inches, you would felt that was small? Yeah. Okay. So it's interesting, isn't it, that this, this yeah. concept of the six-inch penis does seem to I be, know. you know, almost cast in stone in society, that unless the penis is six inches erect, then, it's, uh, then it, if it's not that, then it's too small. Mm. But the experts tell us... The actual fact the penis needs to be, it can be much smaller than that. Um, and the average is smaller. Do you yeah, think that, that, yeah. Do you think that because th this is what sex, sex experts are telling us, that it doesn't need to be six inches. Do you think that will have, uh, as time goes by, an effect on men? Do you think that will drive men to have penis enlargement or? Yeah. There's a lot of access, free access to porn these days on the internet and the experts would have us believe that it's porn that's driving uh, people to change their bodies so much. Breast augmentation, penis enlargement. Do you think that this is having any impact on guys today, Stuart, yeah. to increase the size of their penis? I think so. I mean, the guys, you know, on porn videos and so, so on, uh, they only seem to show guys who have very big penises. Do you think that's a reasonable thing for them to do? Um, or the I makers of porn, should they be challenged, yeah, do you they think? they should have all different sizes, really, yeah. and compatibility, so, you know, I mm -hmm. think 
a lot of men look upon me feel a little bit intimidated. Yeah. So. Was that your experience or did that yeah. not have any bearing? <laughs> yeah, I did feel a bit intimidated sometimes by watching it. But uh -huh. just... And what's your view on that, Karis? What do you feel? They're just all big on porn videos anyway. But yeah, that's why I thought on average the penis was about seven inches big. Right, so this is so you yeah. got this concept of the seven inch standard size penis <laughs> from porn. porn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. After penis enlargement injections, there's a few things that Stuart must do. And the first thing is what he mustn't do. So it's no sex for four weeks, Stuart. So nothing involving your penis. Do you think you're gonna be able to do that? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. Yeah. And Karis, are you going to support him with this? He's going to have to take me to Anne Summers. He's going to have to take you to Anne <laughs> Summers. Right, OK. Well, it's really important that you don't have sex because in the early part of, uh, of the treatment, in the, in the first week or two, this dermal filler is very malleable. It can actually move, which is why massage is very important, as the doctor told you, to massage the penis to smooth out any minor imperfections that you might see or feel underneath the skin. But sex too soon can move the filler uh, in quite large volume to, to, to one spot. And it makes it more difficult to, to even out. So you're gonna have to behave yourself for, yeah. for the next four weeks. But after that, then you'll be absolutely good to go. Win in. <laughs> Win in. How, how often should I ma massage? Yourself. Five or ten minutes, uh, twice a day should be should be plenty to just to smooth out any any minor imperfections that you might see or feel along the shaft. I mean, we use now uh, cannulas rather than needles for these treatments, and this greatly improves the symmetry that the doctor's able to obtain from the treatment than than, than before. So it looked quite good when you left, and there's every reason if you if you look after it as we say then it, 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 will stay, it will stay looking as good as it does now. Will it affect me doing any activities or like swimming or? No, sport? no, I think it would be a wise to, well, I would avoid swimming for a few days, yeah. avoid any uh, heavy exercise involving the lower part of your body, anything at the gym, again, a yeah. few days before you get back into that sort of routine. But beyond that, uh, there's really not much restriction. The, the, the longest part is avoiding the sex, the four weeks. Yeah. You know, in the early part, no swimming, no gym for a few days would be, would be wise. Be able to have an erection and I'd still yeah, well, well, you can't stop those, you know, spontaneous <laughs> erections, they're going to happen, but that's fine. Uh, just let it settle naturally when, when, you, when you get one, really. Yeah. So will I be able to give you a blowjob? No. No, no, no. That's still classed as sex. Any activity involving his penis has to be a big no for four weeks because you, can, you risk moving the filler mm. and that will give us a problem. Then we have to potentially uh, put an enzyme in to dissolve it and then the penis will look like it did before. So it's just that four week window that we need just to settle the filler down and make sure everything is first class. So this procedure is totally reversible? Yes. So if we get any... St occasionally, you may have a, a, a little lump uh, that you might not be able to see it, but you might feel it that's very stubborn, even resistant to massage. And what we can do is we can inject an enzyme that completely breaks down the hyaluronic acid. That's the great thing about hyaluronic acid compared to other um, fillers is that it, it's completely... Uh, uh, can, can be can be sorry that it can be completely broken down by injection of an enzyme called hyalase hopefully we won't need that okay guys so can we catch up with you in four weeks time five weeks time and let us know how you're getting on and and uh, really uh, yeah. how you feel about what you've had done yeah yeah? Yep. That would be great. I'll let you know how it feels. Thank you so much. <laughs> thanks very much for watching today. And thanks today very much to Stuart and from Karis. Uh, well done, Stuart. You were a great patient. Yep. <laughs>